Hey, time now for the skinny topping our headlines this morning. T minus two days to Oscar Sunday. Days away, and the lunching and brunching circuits are shifting into high gear. The latest yesterday in Beverly Hills for Essence Magazine's annual Black Women in Hollywood Awards luncheon. The event was a venerable who's who, including Oprah Winfrey, Lupita Nyong'o. A lot of guys turned out as well, including John Legend and Common. Topping our best dress list, Orange is the new black actress, Uzo Aduba in a dainty floral dress with matching pumps. Ooh, I do like that nice. dress. And Kelly Rowland looked fresh and breezy in this springy lace number. She always looks good. Yes, she does. And Laverne Cox went understated in a pleated navy skirt with I nude like mesh it. top. I like it. Looking okay. good already and two days away. As a reminder, our coverage of the 87th Annual Academy Awards begins Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, right here on ABC. You can't miss that. No Get your way. Oscar pools ready, too, by the way. That's a good idea. Yeah. Next up, uh, polarizing hip-hop star Iggy Azalea as the latest celebrity to drop social media. I do you why. Azalea says that she quit Twitter after a slew of nasty commentary on her appearance in a bikini shot by paparazzi while she was vacationing in Hawaii with her boyfriend, L.A. Laker, Nick Young. Azalea unleashed a torrent of tweets decrying the body shaming. Why? I don't get it. Anyway, finally, she finished with this tweet saying, the internet is the ugliest reflection of mankind there is. There might be a little bit of truth to that. Iggy is angry and she is out. But she looks great. Did you see her in the music video? I don't understand why anybody would body shame her. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm sorry to see her go. Uh, next up, what about this? Next to a simpler, more innocent time, right? Mm -hmm. Before the internet, public body shaming. Yeah. The 70s. Yeah, that's right. Those wild and crazy days. In case you haven't been keeping track, the final season of Mad Men is set to kick off in April. And as a teaser, they released this trailer. Whoa! Uh, never get you guys out of my Sing mind. It. That's right. Who Cause knew? I just love them. It's the no longer the 60s. Whoa! And the trailer giving us at least a hint about how the main characters are navigating the swinging 70s. It's gonna be good. <laughs> at least it appears that Betty Draper has lost all the weight. Yeah. It looks like uh, something's never changed. They are looking good. And finally, now let's move to this. That Fifty Shades of Grey has become an International box office smash hit. The next logical step, of course, would be the sequel. Fifty Shades Darker is in the works, but according to Variety magazine, production is actually delayed because the author, E.L. James, is demanding more control by writing the screen. Ah, according to insiders, the sequel is going to see a dramatic creative reshuffling. Fifty Shades has already grossed more than 300 million worldwide. Woo! 